Steven Spielberg's hotly anticipated Ready Player One will hit theaters on March 29th and is primed to give virtual reality a much needed marketing boost. I'm Mark Ehrman and I cover Apple and consumer tech for Bloomberg News in San Francisco. VR headsets, which immerse users into video, social networking, and games, have so far failed to go mainstream. Last year, the category grew more slowly than expected. Users have complained that there's not enough apps, that headsets are expensive and difficult to set up, and that Oculus, HTC, and PlayStation headsets must still be tethered to pricey PCs. At CES, HTC and Google announced new headsets, while Facebook showed off new Oculus Go features, giving the platform a needed boost. With the advances, the category is expected to grow 25% this year, and some analysts say Spielberg's film could provide an extra boost. Ready Player One takes place in 2045 Columbus, Ohio, where a group of characters become addicted to a 3D virtual world called Oasis and are often sporting their headsets. Hollywood was helping companies sell stuff long before product placements became ubiquitous. The Blues Brothers grew Ray-Ban, James Bond pumped up BMW, and Toy Story revived the Etch-A-Sketch. While the immediate future for VR may be brighter, Apple and Amazon are betting the technology will eventually be supplanted by augmented reality. Spielberg's movie could help give VR a short-term lift, but even the world's top grossing director is probably no match for the tech wizards in Cupertino and Seattle. You can follow me on Twitter at, at Mark Ehrman and get all of your updates on TikTok.